Hi, this video will explain the differences between static cooling, fan-assisted cooling, and dynamic cooling systems in a commercial fridge. Also, we'll give you some advice on how to choose among them. Let's get started. The static cooling system, also known as the direct cooling system, employs an internal skin evaporator placed inside the enclosed foaming body to cool the interior cabinet efficiently. This evaporator works by directly cooling the inside cabinet, allowing the cold energy to then transfer into the surrounding air. The pull-down time to below 10 degrees Celsius is 50 minutes for an empty load and 24 hours for a full load. The price is the lowest among these three cooling systems. The fan-assisted cooling system uses a skin evaporator inside the foaming body or a roll-bond evaporator for effective cold conduction from the evaporator to the cabinet and into the surrounding air. It includes an additional fan inside the cabinet to enhance air ventilation, ensuring the even distribution of cold air for consistent temperatures in every corner. Essentially, it combines the static cooling system with an inside fan. The pull-down time to below 10 degrees Celsius is 40 minutes for an empty load and 24 hours for a full load. The price is moderately higher than static cooling, approximately 10 US dollars more. The dynamic cooling system also referred to as the ventilating cooling system or fan cooling system, incorporates a fin evaporator and an inside fan to directly distribute the cold energy from the evaporator to the interior cabinet. The fin evaporator is accessible and installed inside the cabinet, positioned behind the cover of the inside fan. The pull-down time to below 10 degrees Celsius is 20 minutes for an empty load and 18 hours for a full load. The price is the highest among these three cooling systems, about 50 US dollars higher than static cooling. When it comes to selecting a cooling system, there are several factors to consider. One important factor is the ambient temperature. Static cooling and fan-assisted cooling are ideal for ambient temperatures below 38 degrees Celsius, while dynamic cooling works well up to 43 degrees Celsius. Additionally, special requirements should be taken into account, such as frequent door openings throughout the day or the need for lower temperatures inside the cabinet. Here's a summary highlighting the key differences among the three cooling systems for your reference. That's all the content for this video. Thank you for watching. We manufacture a variety of beverage coolers and display freezers that utilize the above three cooling systems. You can tell us your specific needs for your commercial fridges and we'll figure out the best options for you. As always, we appreciate your support for ProCool. Contact us now for more details.